This video will show you how to model actors' permissions on use cases. Let's say you have a use case diagram with some actors and several use cases in it. To begin, go up here, select Diagrams, and then Chart Diagrammed. In here, we're going to set up a matrix to set the permissions. So for the roles, select Actor here, and then click the right arrow here. And as for the column, select Use Case, and then click on the arrow here. Now go back up to the Code Type field, and to the right, click this button here. In this dialog box, we're going to set up a new code type. Go down and click the Add button, select Code Type, and we're going to name this Permission. And under it, we're going to add three new codes. So go down to the Add button here, select Code, and the first one we're going to name it Read, and put in R here, and then click the Add button again, select Code, put in Write, and then the letter W here, and for the last code, click it here again, and name this Execute, and type in the letter E here, and we're done. Click OK to close this box, and go back up to the Code Type field. For the drop-down, select the new code type that we just added, Permission. Click OK. As you can see, the actors are in the rows, and the use cases are in columns. And we're going to set the permissions now. For customer, a customer places order, so we're interested in this cell here. Right-click on it and select Execute. A customer also writes comments for feedback, so click on this cell and right-click and select Execute as well. A delivery staff delivers order, so right-click on this cell here and select Execute. And for sales clerk, he or she process orders, so right-click on this cell here, select Execute. A sales clerk may also need read access to orders, so we would go to the cell here and right-click on it, select Read to give read access. A manager reorders stocks, so right-click on this cell here and select Execute. He or she might need read access to orders as well, so go to the cell here and give read access by choosing Read here. Now let's go back to the use case diagram. Let's say we add a new use case and name it Do Survey. Press Enter. Now let's go back to the chart diagram and see what it looks like. We can see that the update, the new addition, gets reflected in the diagram as well. 